Hello, my name is Derek Chang, Marketing Director for Long Jump, and I want to thank you for being part of the Long Jump community. Our team is really excited as we put the final touches on our next release, version 7.1 of the platform. It's the single largest update of our user interface since the platform was introduced. It also positions us for future improvements that support upcoming web development technologies. We know when users hear that a software company is introducing a new interface, it's almost always met with trepidation and resistance. And any change will take a little getting used to. But ultimately, we think our new UI will help you be more productive, help you get to your information and analysis faster, and more easily adapt to the needs of your business. This video will introduce you to some of the more noticeable updates that you'll see in Long Jump when we release August 14th. Navigating the Long Jump user interface is now task based, letting you focus on the processes that make the most sense in your work environment. When you first log into Long Jump, you'll still see the familiar home tab that contains your starting dashboard for the app you're in. Notice that the tabs of each object in Long Jump are now organized here under your workspace. All applications have a set of workspaces which give you access to data from your application reports, or any custom pages you need. When you click on a workspace link, it opens up a live tab in your main working area. You may notice a couple of changes to this view. If you want to switch views, you can still do so on your view dropdown. But we've added faster pagination at the footer, so you can jump to a specific page. Many of your other controls have moved to the right, where you can set up views, filter, or quickly refresh the list. To modify this view, just click the wrench icon to display a menu where you can create a new view, edit a view, export data, or get the record count for this view. This new list view also provides faster access to records. For example, I can click on the open icon to open a record. As you can see, Long Jump has introduced the concept of a reading pane for records. This lets you see the details of a record without leaving the list view. If you want to use the entire pane to display the record, click on the push pin icon. The push pin tacks this record to the main tab area for quick retrieval, just like tabs on your web browser, and leaves them open until you close them. Within the listing view, I can also quickly click the edit icon to open a reading pane where I can edit the record directly. In addition to the reading pane and editing options available, we've also added a refresh icon. This lets you quickly refresh the record details or list views to get the most up-to-date information. Let's move on to Long Jump 7.1's report and chart enhancements. With this new version, charts are better looking and load faster. Also, these charts don't require flash, so you'll be able to view them in non-flash browsers. Creating reports and charts is just as simple as before. You still use the report wizard to select and order fields, add filters, and groupings. What's new is that we've given you finer grain control over charting, with a host of options so you can really design the chart that you need. And of course, I can add the chart as a widget to my homepage. You'll notice that our charts now dynamically size with the widget, so you can create very compelling dashboards. With Long Jump 7.1, we've also introduced live analytics to report widgets. This lets you pivot the dimensions of the chart by regrouping data or adding filters. The chart automatically repaints with new data. I can even see what records were used to create this chart. Let's say I'm looking at this chart, which indicates the service providers for our mobile phones. To drill into details, I can click on the individual bar on the graph to bring up my analytics menu and choose a new column to pivot to. Now I can see who the manufacturers are for my AT&T phones. If you're creating custom objects as a user or developer, Long Jump's version 7 provides greater visibility into how those objects relate to each other. Let's look at the object's properties. Here you can see all the related objects, their relationships, and any permissions that may be in place. This allows developers to design objects that have special cascade rules, such as how related records are treated when the main record is deleted. The relationship information also includes how junction objects within many-to-many -many relationships behave. 
Lastly, we've changed the way you can adjust colors in Long Jump. We've created predefined themes that change the color schemes throughout the user interface. If you're an ISV and you want to promote your brand to your customers, you can upload your own themes, which are based on jQuery's theme roller. Well, those are the highlights of the biggest changes on the Long Jump platform. There are many minor changes throughout the platform, including fixes and enhancements, and you can look for those in our release notes when the new version arrives on longjump.com August 14th. For those with the self-hosted ISV version of Long Jump, the 7.1 release will be available on September 3rd. If you have any questions, please contact us through the support link, and one of our platform experts will get back to you. Thank you again for choosing Long Jump.